Hi, I'm Sasha Shea. I am a visual design strategist within the web web design and branding industry, and I give Affinity Designer a four out of five. Before using Affinity Designer, I was using Adobe software a lot, and uh, prior to switching over, Adobe really was the only tool I was using that was similar. I switched from Adobe over to Affinity Designer mainly because of price and as well because Affinity Designer was, uh, you know, it was very promising, had a lot of features that were similar to um, utilizing the competitor, right? It incorporated vector, incorporated raster, and that was really the main reasons I decided. When I first began to use Affinity Designer, the, um, the onboarding experience was really simple. They walk you through, you know, a set of um, steps that you could follow. They also have some starter tutorials that you could just immerse yourself with. Those were great. The only cons I would say, honestly, was certain features were lacking. So, you know, a lot of um, Adobe users were used to um, live trace. That was something that was not present in the software. So that was one drawback. Um, immersing and just like integrating it into my day-to-day -day work schedule was not a problem, honestly, because again, Affinity Designer is a vector program. So the features there were very similar. And if you're already coming in from Adobe, a lot of the, the commands and the, um, the layouts and you know the way how you expect a tool to function, it's pretty similar, so the learning curve for it was not necessarily really hard, and especially because they had the tutorials and the different walkthroughs and, you know, all of those different things on their site. It was very simple to just really take a moment. If you are considering getting Affinity Designer, I highly recommend that you start out with the trial you know, take a trial run of it, play around with it, get familiar with the features, especially also um, check out the tutorials, whether that's on their website, on the blog, or also via their YouTube channel, and as well other YouTube channels that offer just insights about how to use the product, because it's easier to, to get the hang of it once you have some sort of visual reference for it. So if you're considering I'm um, getting it, especially for the fact that, you know, Adobe products are pretty expensive if you are a solopreneur or a freelance or a small business, especially now, right, <laughs> during um, rougher times. So I would recommend starting with the trial, seeing how you like it, um, checking out the tutorials and just...